Hey everyone, this is Greg Kohlberg from the Technical Enablement Group, and today I'm going to talk about audit jobs in Blade Logic. Audit jobs are the one of one of the more simpler uh, concepts in Blade Logic in that you're just comparing uh, one thing to many. And the way I like to initially describe it to people is, if you remember, kind of back in the day, it's um, when I was a kid, we had this magazine called Highlights, and in the back of the mag magazine. Um, or where they had this section, you could compare two images and have, uh, you know, try to figure out all the differences between uh, picture A and picture B. And audit jobs are very similar in Blade Logic to that, in that we're comparing, uh, you know, a server to another server. And, you know, in this kind of example here, we're just trying to find the differences, right? So we find that this, these two bunnies are different, and over here, this guy's got hot cocoa in one hand and doesn't have it in the other, and this snowboarder is faced one way and the other pictures face the other way. So, you know, imagine if we had a, a program that allowed us to, you know, quick, quickly identify all the differences between those two things. That's essentially what audit jobs are in Blade Logic. So to go to my example here, um, let's say we have, you know, server one and server two. And the reason why server one is in gold is because with an audit job in Blade Logic, you have to identify a gold server or a master. So the server by which you want to compare all the other servers against. And in this example, we're just using two kind of very simple examples here, server one and server two. But there could be any number of servers here. So this could be you know, server three and server four and server five. And, and server one could be compared against all these servers, as many servers as I want, in one job. And what you do with an audit job, so let me just write here, audit, audit job. You identify the things that you want to compare from your gold server um, against the target server or target servers. So let's say I want to say make sure it has app one and app two installed, and then make sure it has this drive here and directory one must be there and directory two and along with file one, file two, and um, you know maybe user one must exist and user two. I can put whatever I want into the audit job as far as the things I want to compare. Um, typically, you wouldn't include everything on a server, Blade Logic. While I can do that, it's really not designed to that. I think, in general, you're just going to be overwhelmed with the amount of differences you find between one server and the next. So typically, you want to define your audit jobs around, say, a certain security policy or maybe application configurations. It's meant to just kind of diagnose, you know, hey, what are the differences between server one and server two? And when we run our audit job against from server one against server two, we then start getting some results. So we can see here that uh, app one is there, but app two is not there. So we'll get like a little, you know, missing app two is not there. Um, we didn't compare app three. And then we just kind of keep going down the list here and yep, drive one is here, uh, directory one, directory two, and maybe, you know, file one and file two. And you kind of get the point. So um, let me show we don't have user one is here, but uh, user two, user one is not, right? So this is kind of what it our audit job results would look like in Blade Logic. And we can do very simple checks to just see, you know, does this exist? Um, we can also look at specific metadata on each, each object. So we can say, you know, for this file, um, check the size or check the MD, run an MD5 checksum and make sure that's the same. We can do all of these different checks, you know, pr properties, permissions, uh, ownership. We can all we can check all of those things um, in our audit job as we build it, and we can refine that over time as we get more results back to see, you know, um, you know to really fine tune them according to whatever our needs are. Um, one cool thing about audit jobs in Blade Logic is that I can actually go into the contents of a file. So if I wanted to include, say, um, you know, property one and property three in my audit job, I could actually do that. So we have these grammar files and it allows us to parse the contents of files. And we can compare the contents of a file um, on a server to one or more other servers. So, um, you know, many times files are different from, you know, one server to the next, or they should be the same. Um, but you know, maybe except for a few different entries. And, our, and, and as and opposed to just comparing two files, we can say, look at you know, the contents of this file and just compare property one and property three. We know property two is gonna be different, so um, you know, just ignore that for now. And in this particular example, we would see that property one is different, property three is okay, 
I'm going to put a little red X here, and this is this is different. Now that's great. I mean, we've been able to view the results of our auto job and find out what's different. But another thing that's nice about Blade Logic is we can take this specific entry here, and let's see. Let me pick uh, the blue color here. So we can actually take this particular entry here, package it up and then deploy it to this target. So we can package up this entry or any number of differences we want here and then change it from the seven to its correct value. And when we re-execute our audit job here, so we re-execute this, we then now find that this value is now correct, right? So we can you know, not just determine you know, what's different on a server, but we can actually take action. Um, so again, my name is Greg Kohlberg and that's a overview of audit jobs in Blade Logic.